friggin' breaking news out of Florida, man. Jesus, it is always something with Florida, man. This realtor, this cat, uh, Willie Suarez uh, Masio, young cat, 25 years old, is apparently a friggin' serial killer. This story's making the rounds, just broke. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I like to bring you guys all aspects of the real estate business, right? The good, the bad, and the ugly. And it doesn't get any uglier than what we're doing today, man. We do a lot of stuff on uh, murders, when murders uh, involving people in the real estate industry uh, are happening, right? You know, tenants killing landlords, landlords killing tenants, right? And today we got something a little off base. It's a little crazy. This dude right here is a Florida realtor and he's an accused serial killer. I don't know if the guy's a landlord, so I guess it's a little stretch, but guess what? It's my show, so I do what I want. And I wanted to talk about this, man. Uh, being a real estate uh, agent myself, real estate broker, I've sold over $200 million uh, worth of properties. And uh, we're not down in Florida. We're up here in Ohio. And the properties I sell are rental properties, often priced under 100 k So do the math. That's like a lot of properties. I've dealt with a lot of realtors in my life. Uh, some good, many, many bad. Uh, none as bad as this dude, right? Uh, the thing that y'all got to know about the real estate industry and, and realtors and this or that, the barrier to entry is a lot lower than you would anticipate, right? I, I think a lot of people hear, oh, you're a realtor, and they automatically think you're a very wealthy, well-to-do individual who's successful. Uh, some of us, yes, absolutely, make millions, right? Uh, most of us, though, no, right? There's actually like a 90% annual turnover rate nationwide, right? So Ohio, Florida, California, it doesn't matter where you live. Uh, nine times out of ten, when you become an agent, uh, you fail, Right. So the the barrier to entry is incredibly low. Um, so with that said, uh, when I see real estate agents involved in issues that other folks in the general population are involved with, there's no surprise there. But that 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 being said, this is crazy, man. I can't believe uh, a real estate agent himself is actually accused of being a friggin serial killer. Now, uh He's down there in Florida, and it, it seems like everything always happens in Florida, right? Florida man did this. Florida man did that, right? Like, uh, I think that dude, like the zombie cannibal on bath salts was a Florida man. It's always something crazy happening in Florida. Actually, uh, I got my notes up over here. Literally, uh, earlier today, uh, Holton Wise TV dropped this video, uh, the Christmas eviction murder in Coral Springs, Florida, right? Uh, this girl right here. She's a realtor, uh, Sarah Trost, uh, and that evicted asshole tenant right there is accused of murdering her, also in Florida, right? So something's in the water with Florida, right? But you go up here to this dude, okay? Willie Suarez Masio, 25 years old, Florida real estate agent labeled suspected serial killer, accused of targeting homeless men. So doesn't appear the motivation for him killing them had anything to do uh, with his real estate business, given that they're homeless dudes, right? Uh, that girl, Sarah Trost, uh, that was a, a murder based upon the tenant and being evicted, okay? This one appears to be random. Now, truth be told, like, under this frame, I you know I took this screenshot from uh, the Daily News and an article they wrote, and we'll get into some more details in a second. But with this particular headshot, yeah, Okay, homeboy looks like a freaking serial killer. I get it. But, dude, the kid does not look like a serial killer at all by any stretch of the imagination. If you go through uh, some other photos, like, look at a kid, young, handsome guy. Like, dude, I look at that photo, and I'm like, this kid knows what's up, man. He he looks like a pretty sophisticated realtor. Oftentimes, serial killers, I guess they don't go out and tell you they're serial killers, but it's never super obvious. Uh I get well, okay, except for this guy. But you know, folks, the 
undead killer clown. Totally different serial killer situation. Okay, that's Terry the Undead Killer Clown. Total different situation, guys. That is a, a story for another day. But back to this kid, man. Handsome young man. Looks like he's got everything going for himself. What in the heck happened? What is going on? And everything I say to you, right, I'm reading it off, uh, some of the news articles floating around, and this is all alleged, right? Willie was arrested. Uh, he's been charged. He has not had a trial yet, right? This is America. Everybody gets their right to a fair trial, Willie included, right? So this is all alleged. So, Willie, dude, if for some reason you are not running around Florida killing motherfuckers, do not sue me later for this video because I said it was a legend. But here is what we have uh, right now, right? This is from one of those articles. A ruthless, and I'll link to all the articles in the show notes. A ruthless Florida real estate agent has been accused of killing a homeless man and trying to kill another, according to police. Willie Suarez Masio, 25. Again, young, handsome, good-looking kid. Looks like he's going to be successful in the real estate business, man. He was charged Friday and... Uh, this article just came out, uh, this is like right before Christmas, right? So, like, this murder literally happened like a week before Christmas 2021, man. 2021, 2020, I don't know what's going on in America. I don't know if COVID is eating our freaking brains, but things are wild these days, man. Uh, Willie uh, Suarez Mancio, 25, was charged Friday with attempted murder of a homeless man who was shot in the head in downtown Miami Tuesday night, the Tuesday before Christmas 2021, all right? That was according to the Miami Herald. Uh, about two hours later, another homeless man, 56-year-old Jerome Antonio Price, was fatally shot while he was asleep on the sidewalk. Masio has not been charged for that murder, for that murder, but he has been linked as the suspect, right? Uh, some more stuff that they said that I thought was important. They found a 9-millimeter Glock. Uh, in Masio's car on Friday when they arrested him, okay? That was linked to both the shootings. They have ballistics uh, on this, right? So it's not it's, it's not looking good for Willie, man. He's looking pretty pretty good for this murder. Jesus. Uh, his license plate was caught on camera in at least one of the shootings, man. I got some more info I wanted to share. Uh, man. They also... Uh, Linked him to a third murder, okay, back in October down there in Florida, all right, 59-year-old Manuel Perez. Uh, but uh, Willie has not been charged uh, for that murder yet, but they're putting the case uh, together. And thankfully, though, uh, he appeared in court, and they actually denied him bond, which is good, right? Again, the kid looks like... A normal guy, but uh, apparently he's not, right? Seems like his real estate business was going okay. Uh, he was working for a Century 21 brokerage down there in uh, South Miami, right? That's a hot market, right? Real estate is incredibly expensive. Uh, I looked at his Facebook and stuff, and you see a whole bunch of good-looking headshots from the guy, right? Like, this is some stuff he had from his headshot, right? You never see any... Realtors out there with, uh, like, he's not like one of those realtors out there that's got, like, a weird headshot. Like, oh, like, something like that. You know, it's just a normal-looking dude. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go back to his Facebook. I believe I actually have some mutual friends with this guy, believe it or not, uh, which is pretty crazy. Willie Suarez Masio. Do-do-do. But, like, if you read through the dude's Facebook, uh, he looks to be an incredibly normal guy. Yeah, I got two mutual friends with him, believe it or not. This dude, Tony David, not sure who that is. Uh, Armando Oliveras. I'm going to be watching you two guys. I don't know what y'all got going on. But, look, this dude seems to uh, got, you know, normal stuff going on, right? He's into real estate. He's into the stock market. He's into crypto. Just a young guy. Uh, looks to be a hustler, you know, hustling out, trying to work hard. Uh, just talking about normal stuff, right? He's talking about some Joe Biden stuff. Seems to like fast cars. Like, I get it, right? When we hear serial killers, uh, you know, I don't know, at least mine does, right? My brain goes to, like, Jeffrey Dahmer, right? Or, or you know, I don't know, Ed Gain or uh, 
the BTK killer, right? Just these like creepy guys, right? And if you look at serial killers, you know, often when you're profiling them, right, it's typically like a lonely, uh, single white male, right, 40s or older, right? That seems to be the most common one. It's never just like some young kid uh, who's a realtor and is like active on social media, right? You picture like a creepy guy in a basement. You don't picture this dude sitting on a sports car uh, selling luxury real estate in friggin' Florida, just looking like a happy-go-lucky normal guy. You know, there's a pretty girl with him right there. Like, uh, dude, what what went ha- what what went wrong here, man? What went awry? Like, being a realtor again, ninety cent, uh, ninety percent um, fail rate. So it is definitely a tough business. Cause some properties the dude was showing, right? Some properties, some nice stuff, little. Pa- uh, Florida palm trees, but it, it's a tough business, man. Ninety percent fail rate, but Jesus, if uh, the stories about this kid uh, turn out to be true, and he really is a serial killer, I believe that will be a first, right? I don't know if we've ever had a licensed realtor as a serial killer. I think one time. And we'll probably do a story on this on the Landlords from Hell show. I think one time there was a realtor landlord. I want to say it was in, like, South Carolina, and he kidnapped a couple women uh, and chained them uh, in a shipping container. But I don't know if he ever murdered anybody. I will have to to look at that story further. But this one, this story really caught me off guard, and this is making the rounds. And I just wanted to jump out here, get you guys, <clears throat> lay of the land, get you guys an understanding of where we're at with the case, right? So as of right now, tried to kill one person, uh, linked, and he was arrested for that. Two hours later, uh, another person was shot and killed. He has not been charged with that murder, but he's linked to it. And then he is linked to a third murder uh, that was back in October. So October 2021, linked to a murder. December 2021, right before Christmas, same day, Charged in an attempted murder, linked in another murder. And as far as evidence, we got a gun, okay, a gun that matches, has ballistic reports that match uh, the weapon utilized, found in his possession. He bought that gun in 2018. As I speak to you, it's a couple days before 2022, so the dude has owned this gun for like four years. Uh, That is overwhelmingly scary, right? I mean, you know, who knows? Who knows how many potential victims this dude has uh, had. Uh, allegedly, again, Willie, if for some crazy, insane reason, you end up innocent of this thing. Don't sue me, bro. Um, but he's had that gun for four years, so who knows uh, what else he's done. And who knows what his motivations are uh, for targeting homeless men, right? Is it just like a random power trip thing? Is he like Patrick Bateman uh, from American Psycho just going after homeless people? I don't know, right? Usually when we deal with these real estate murders and we cover these real estate murders, like the Sarah Trost one I talked about earlier in the show, uh, they're related to some type of monetary dispute in the real estate industry, right? Tenant doesn't pay landlord rent. Landlord loses his freaking brain, kills the tenant, right? Tenant doesn't pay landlord rent. Uh, landlord evicts tenant. Tenant loses his brain and kills the landlord for evicting him. Stuff like that, right? That's normally what we see. Uh, this is a very rare situation where we see what appears to be a random serial killer in the real estate industry as a licensed realtor. Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any updates on the story or if there's anything else on the story uh, you think we should look into deeper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.